Hey everyone, in this episode of Hub Fuel, we're going to be taking a closer look at business units within HubSpot. This is probably one of the most customizable features that have come out of Inbound 2021 this year and is the ability to essentially have numerous different brands within your overarching HubSpot portal. This is great for anyone that is an overarching business where you need to keep all your data in one place, but otherwise your landing pages, your emails are very different from brand to brand. Using a business unit allows you to essentially have a separate brand. So you will be able to have one business unit with its own branding of landing pages, emails, etc., And you can add as many business units as you so wish, depending on your situation. In doing so, what you'll be able to do is not only keep everything in one place and then be have the ability to switch between the two brands when you're creating assets, but you'll be able to one look at the overarching HubSpot portal and how it's performed, whilst also honing in on the two separate brands themselves to get more business unit or brand specific reporting depending on your business's needs. If you've been using HubSpot a while, you'd probably be familiar with the term brand domains. This is not to be confused with a business unit, but essentially this is the new way of referring to a brand domain. If this sounds like it's something of interest and you've got access to this in your portal, what you're going to want to do is firstly head over to your settings via the top right. In order to set a brand domain up or a business unit, you're going to want to configure your domain settings. So if you head over to your settings on the left hand side, go to domains and URLs and simply just scroll down to where basically you've got your advanced options. And you will see that depending on the number of brand domains or business units you have, you can specify what these are here. And then you can specify what the URLs are in terms of basically what URLs correspond to what business unit or brand domains in this example on screen. Once you've set up your domains, what you want to do is you want to then head over to your settings and you want to then scroll down the left hand side and find the option of business units, which should be under account setup. And at the time of recording, it's important to know this is currently in beta. So do be considerate and bear with any bugs throughout this kind of build phase. If you're new to a business unit and you haven't set one up prior, you'll get a slightly different screen to the one on show with an overall detailed walkthrough. Or if you've set one up before or someone with your company already has, you'll have the ability to create a new business unit from this button here. Simply create the new business unit and then name it to what that unit of the business may be called. So for example, in Prodo, we've got Prodo and then Franklin. So if we select Prodo as the unit we want to create, and then with the newly set up domain configuration you've done, just select the brand domain, which again would sit at the bottom here, which is your brand domain of Prodo, which we would then select this business unit relates to this brand domain. Once you're happy with that, just review your setup and press save, and you'll see some notable changes in your actual screen. So what you'll see now is we can switch between the two business units. So I can switch between the actual demo account and Prodo as two set completely separate brands. I can then manage my branding centrally. So for the HubSpot demo account, I can click into the branding and customize my brand kit based on this unit. And going forward, if I can create a new brand kit for that unit as well. Going back to that centralized page, I can also manage the account. So if I've got a Zoom webinar integration on one particular brand, I can make sure that the right Zoom is connected to the right business unit. And not only that, but we can go to the website tab where we can manage and dom the domains and URLs that are connected to each, i.e. the subdomains, so blog.prod or blog.demo account, in terms of basically how them URLs look in correspondence to the business units. And last but not least, you head over to the marketing tab where you can basically configure subscription types in relation to what unit is. So you'll have a marketing subscription type for the demo account, a marketing sub subscription type for Prodo's account, but they're two very, very separate areas in terms of how people will funnel in. This newly released feature allows you to have so much customized, uh, customized approach in terms of how you separate out subscriptions, branding, actual domains per the different brands in one centralized build phase as well. Again, you can easily click between the brands in terms of configuring the subscription types and it will contain useful links to what area of HubSpot you need to go to. So if I was to click manage my domains for Prodo, it will take me over to Prodo in terms of what brand domain is connected and it will tell you basically to connect your primary, your secondary and any redirected domains as well. And that's it. That's how to set up a business unit within HubSpot in terms of if you have numerous brands or basically units within your overarching business function. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Hub Fuel and I look forward to speaking with you guys again soon. Take care.